Dr. Andrew Osakwe, senior pastor, Summit Bible Church, has urged youths in the country to engage in civic education to tackle voter apathy ahead of the 2023 general elections. Osakwe made the appeal while unveiling the 2022 fellows of this generation's civic accelerators program organized by Build Man Leadership Foundation in Abuja. What we're doing here is really trying to encourage you all to participate. Right? And I'm happy that uh, you had the opportunity to jump back, but you refused. You decided to stay back, and God will honor you for that. He will. There's, there's a lot of hope for Nigeria, but the hope is in our hearts. The hope is through us. So we have to do something. God will honor us as we do whatever we can do. You'll be amazed because very few people are doing anything. So now that you start doing something, you'll be amazed at how quickly you'll be able to make an impact because you, make, you, you actually took the initiative to do something. We have to participate in the political process of our nation. Politics is becoming a very... Uh, actually, politics has always been one of the most important influences in terms of platforms, right? Through the platform of politics, the direction of nations is determined. No matter how much you pray, if you don't do something about the political direction, your prayers might end up, uh, you know, just causing more frustration. There must be political engagement. We must, we must participate, all right? Pastor Kingsley Bangwell, coordinator of the program, said it was packaged to empower youths and build their capacity for a better nation. He said that apart from getting briefing from reputable Nigerians, they also have the opportunity to demonstrate and practicalize leadership. To practicalize leadership, we came up with the accelerator. So the idea of the accelerator is after the workshop, uh, come up with something you want to do to contribute to Nigeria. And then there is a price tag for it, right? So last year, the price tag was on entrepreneurship. Come up with something that is entrepreneurship, and they got $1,000 each, six people. So this year, because we did election, the focus is civic, so it's a civic accelerator. They went through six weeks of training, about 60 young people who, across Nigeria, who want to do a project to contribute to the election. Non-partisan project. No project endorses a candidate, no project endorses a party. But just around voter education, around non-violence, let young people get out there and speak to their peers. So we have 60 participants that have gone through the training and today they've been unveiled to start their projects across Nigeria. And at the end of it, four young people, we will, at all expense, one week travel scholarship to an African country and see how all those other countries are also developing. You know, they want to work on creating awareness around beavers. They want to work around non-violent election. They want to work around, you know, voter apathy. And they are raising the money to do all this project by themselves. So this is quite exciting for us, and we're looking forward to great contribution to the elections. Mr. Igbo Ngozi made a presentation on Independent National Electoral Commission Bimodal Voter Accreditation System, BIVAS. The BIVAS is one of the innovations that INEC brought to give credence to the electoral process. So what I intend to do is majorly to work with uh, non-state actors, like um, communities, stakeholders, chiefs, and all these people, to sensitize, reach out at least 5,000 um, community members of the, the local government I have picked to work in. I have picked Suleja, which is in Niger State, as a local government I want to work on. You know, to reach out 5,000 persons, tell them about the do's and the don't as far as the beavers is concerned. Of project topic is voters apathy your vote counts and this project topic is born out of the desire to make sure that people participate in the forthcoming general elections because we've seen over time that um, people have lost interest in participating in election because before now they are, they are they, they feel that their vote didn't count so now we are going to make them understand that their vote actually counts